Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the permadeath run of Hamza, chosen of the Bella, who is still trying to find his way and uh, conquer the companions. Hamza by now is level 21, which... Uh, it's a result of us doing quite a bit of extra content here and there. This is the last episode of the normal run and it will decide whether or not we're going to be successful. Uh, three things that we want to do and all three are dangerous. Number one, we want to get the second part of the shout. Uh, mm, disarm shout that is we need to go to that mountain ridge and confront our first dragon and that is exactly what we're going to do to begin with number two we're going to go to solstein which is up here and we're going to finish the excavation quest unearthed and then finally we're going to do glory of the dead if we're still alive to finish the companion quest line and uh, as an idea for Skyrim in general, if you like the videos of permadeath runs, I have already uh, brewed up a couple of character concepts that I would want to try out. And I will call the series potentially Diary of Death. And those uh, characters who make it and get all the way to their target will uh, maybe be continued to be played uh, in Requiem not all quests are equally challenging, uh, so I'll choose a couple of tier 1 quests like the com uh, Companions, uh, the Dark Brotherhood, Thief Skills and a few others uh, to essentially create reasonable challenges for someone to get to level 20 and whoever survives those challenges, um, those Diaries of Death can be continued. And I'll let you guys vote upon which of uh, the builds you would like to continue to see played. Hamza certainly so far has been fun. All right, off we go. We want uh, to go to the dragon. Enough babbling. Time for some blood. Time to take Vutron. We buffed ourselves. And it is time to face potentially our worst enemy so far and I'm not talking about gravitation or the inability to line up cliffs I'm talking about the real life dragon Wootron definitely hits super well We only have melee attacks, so this is going to be interesting. The only shout that we do have is disarm, not that that would do any difference for a dragon. Elder's Blood Peak. Did I promise too much? Where's the dragon? Just trolls and I was all buffed up getting hyped and ready. It's a former dragon lair. Oh, I think because I never started the dragon quests, they are not spawning. Well, that was a bit anticlimactic. I hate it when I can't live up to the, my promises. At least the next dungeon will be harsh. So we got disarm level two. Time to go to Solstead. Oh boy, that was definitely anticlimactic. So here we finally are. You can see quite a bit of slaughter has happened. Uh, 
Besides, just wanted to uh, talk through <clears throat> the self-imposed uh, shouts real quick. Uh, we are not the Dragonborn, so hence we're not getting any Dragon Souls. I paid 5,000 for the second uh, version of the Shout now. Overall, we're 7,500 out of pocket, but it's well worth it. Oh, and I bought ourselves a new mace, uh, a new uh, two hundred silver weapon. I should show that off in a second. Uh, just getting ready for the dungeon. Typical buffing routine. We want healing all around ourselves. Bit of potato soup, and I think we're good to go. Try to do it without the Shadow Sim Simulacrum yet, but if we can muster enough mana, that actually magicka that would actually be helpful. Tell you what, with all of the people here, we might be able to do that just in time. Nah, no more cheese. So, if we were to drop all of our items, we're looking at what? I think still not enough to cast it, because last time we were buffed. Oh, that is so disheartening. Yeah, doesn't work out. So we can't permanently get the Shadow Simulacrum unless we do have fortif uh, Fortify Magicka, like we had it the last time. Not this time, though. This here is our new weapon, a glass, silver, silvered glass battle axe. Should be good against the Draugrs. So off we go. Apparently, oh, it becomes more and more apparent that he has actually used the miners in order to just uh, resurrect his boss. Well, I'll show him what I think about that. Finally, we're on the lowest tier. It also gets rid of uh, the uh, that one word. Not that we can use the shout. Yeah, can't really open expert locks. Yeah, we already knew that that was there. All right, careful here. I think this is how uh, how the next stage opened up. Yep. Okay. Fantastic. The weapon is hitting like a truck and our blocking has become better as well oh wow why are we oh i see i 
I am somehow stuck in those rocks. If we would have fought against more enemies, that could have been really nasty. It's for 600. Good. Droggers are finally becoming more and more simple. But I wanted to rely less on healing potions and more on actual heal spells. Hey guys, what's up? Nothing? Not sure why they haven't even heard us coming. Well, 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 well. We gotta open that gate, don't we? Something is awkwardly wrong. There we go, there is the chain. Two, three. Luckily with heavy armor, we're relatively well protected. Good, so we opened that uh, portion of the crypt. I am pretty sure that there was more. Good, rebuffing our Shadow Cloak. I'm pretty sure... I definitely remember that there was way more on that lower level here. Let me figure out where we need to go. Okay, careful. That one here, you can already see it's trapped. It's just a side room, though. All 
right, I'll keep on searching. Okay, after pulling a couple of levers, we finally found the gauntlets of warding, which I should have found much, much earlier, but I didn't have the time to go through all of that. So, our new gloves, or the ones that we should have worn uh, since a while, do have wards absorb 50% of the magicka from incoming spells. Spell power is increased 5%, increases your magicka 40 points, and allows to keep focus whilst running, which is super helpful. And I'm just wondering, I need to buy wards. They are... Alteration, though. Good. On we go. Just found ourselves in the next room. Oh, not good to be... Shouted in the corner. Good. At least I found the right way. I have no clue why I didn't realize that that room was here before. Must have, uh, must have just overlooked it. Something completely different when you're playing and recording yourself uh, versus when you're playing and and just playing. Tend to miss so many things. Yeah, that's what we want to get. So what they are suggesting is whale and whale. Or Alzira's armor. Reflects half of physical damage, increases health and boosts magicka regeneration. A little bit less armor, but uh, arguably the safer choice. So that one is Good. If I recall, um, if I recall, they have really upgraded it. Health forty points. That's great. Uh, no paralysis. That's even better. And massive mana regeneration. So we got paralysis immunity. We got uh, movement slow immunity. Walking on water, which is helpful. Uh, we our wards absorb magicka if needed. Uh, spells if needed. And spell power is increased, plus magicka itself is also increased. How are our stats overall looking? Magicka seems to be alright. The question is, can we cast this here? No, it's still not enough magicka to cast the spell. But the, poison, uh, the paralysis uh, immunity, that is very helpful. Now we are a bit above our uh, about above our level in terms of in terms of carry weight. 
that needs to go. And this should be okay. We just can't carry a lot of items anymore. As I'm saying that, I am definitely looting two potions. Good, careful here. Keeping our buffs up, using funeral rites. To deal with the Draugr. And get some Magicka back. Good, we're fully rebuffed, ready to roll. I don't think that we can beat him. That's a full-fledged Dragon Priest. Good. What can we do in order to theoretically beat him? Damage health. Well, we're all, we have already a poisoned weapon. Resist magic. Yes. all of the other individual resists and let's see if we can burst him down he's not fighting back what the fuck Pretty sure he's going to resist my nightmarish attempts. If we can get enough uh, stamina going, we might be able to get him down. So, resist, yes. I do have levels of toxicity because we have too many buffs going. We can lure him into a corner. Let's try it with Vutran. does not work better. Alright, we're out of here. Dragon Priest, no, no, no. Not enough oomph yet. I do have a particularly good item against him though. We do have one necklace of dwindling fire. But still won't be enough. Well, as he was not fighting back, I 
I see how that could have worked, but that would have equally been cheesing it, and I don't, I don't really like it. Sometimes you gotta accept defeat. By the way, in case you're wondering, why was I, uh, why was I okay with like 10% health? Uh, the the uh, answer is we did have a portion of surpassing healing, so I could have pressed at any time. Uh, we have used our portion of surpassing uh, um, a stamina, which is a bit of a shame. But I really thought we could, we could beat him. Unfortunately, just in the end, didn't work out. Um, doesn't keep us from finishing the companion quest. This year we'll just need to wait for a later day. Uh, we conclude we weren't ready yet to take on a dragon priest. That's okay. Sometimes you live and learn and fight another day. Which also unfortunately means we don't have uh, the helmet. Uh, so the full set is still missing. But Azendal, uh, generally speaking, has a couple of really nice items. And we are, have a uh, really nice armor rating I, i'll put uh, the the other stuff uh, back and try to find a helmet that um, might be better for illusion magic so I have some funds left over for the left uh, last dungeon i would like to see if i could get an update there cool good that's it for now let's move to the last dungeon it is time, my friends, is our final challenge awaits. We couldn't best the Dragon Priest, but that doesn't mean we cannot try to finish the companion quest line. Good. We are definitely taking Bootron with us again. And I think we're fighting against spiders first, which we might want some poison resistance. So all of the companions are still here. These guys are easy. But as time progresses, they become a bit more difficult. Oh, yeah. if you can sleep them potentially can Nice. I can even destroy it. I can even destroy uh, bows of uh, ghosts nowadays. The new magical re uh, regeneration really plays out well.
Good. This is... where all of uh, the poison resist comes in handy. That way we're not getting paralyzed immediately. Alright, so far so good. There is still a last uh, a final room that will likely be difficult. Okay, apparently no burial rites allowed here. Luckily we did not get hit by that stupid poison. Speaking about which, we of course get attacked from behind. So we do have 30 poison resistance. I do have poison potions if need be. I think there was another bigger spider in here. Alright, time to change to undead. I absolutely love this build. Uh, you should not run right into me when I am finishing someone. Okay, Ayla is still with us, although she got downed once. No droggers, it's just companions here. Fantastic. The build really plays out well. Finally, it's online. Its only weakness is the lack of ranged support, but over time I think uh, one could find options for that as well. down two three Ayla get out of the way please thank you Good. Want to keep up the shadow shield, that is important. And yeah, we don't have enough mana, just waiting a few moments here. Kotlak, is that you? My fellow Harbingers and I have been warming ourselves here, trying to evade you see. You see only me because your heart knows only me as the Companion's leader. 
I'd wager old Vignar could see half a dozen of my predecessors. And I see them all. The ones in Sovengard, the ones trapped with me in Hirsi's realm. And they all see me. You brought honor to the name of the Companions. We won't soon forget it. Did he now? I can only hope. You still have the Witch's heads. Excellent. Throw one of them into the fire. It will release their magic. For me, at least. Okay, fantastic. Here we go. Never shoot. And so slain the beast. Well, she has just killed him. Oh my gosh. Like he was about to transform and apparently she has a silver weapon or something. The heroes of old can join me in their rescue. I was getting ready for a nice little final fight, but Aya stole the show. And perhaps someday and lead the companions to further glory. Did I hear right? Did he say you were to lead the companions? You've earned the right. Your strength and honor are apparent to all. And it's my honor to be first to address you as Harbinger. Let's go tell the others. Fantastic. Well, it's been a joyful ride. Potion of Unclear Destiny. What does that do? Oh, you can reset your uh, birth sign. I remember reading that. I remember reading that. One of the options that is possible with this build now that we're deeper into it is going for the Apprentice Stone, which reduces all of uh, the uh, buff times by 25% and weakens the spells by 25% as well. But we have no spells that need a lot of spell power. Um, the advantage is you save 50, like 5-0% of all spell costs, which is massive. So for us it would definitely be a great option. We also get the shield of uh, Ysarmor. And holy moly, a nice little set. Poison resistance, health. Immune to most paralysis effects. Alright, we just received a full set of fantastic gear. Let's just double check that. Uh, that was definitely not uh, main here in Requiem. Pristine Wolf Armor would give us a lot of poison resistance. Um, that would help that would help out enormously. Health renders you immune to most paralysis effects and additional stamina plus immune to slow effects. Quite a bit more armor as well. Although also way heavier than uh, the caster armor. In terms of armor... 40% immune paralysis and more magic uh, magic uh, regeneration. I think it's a tie. Like this armor uh, for a pure warrior would definitely uh, outshine it. But I think uh, Azendal's armor in terms of uh, having enough mana regeneration is important. Frost resistance 40%. We'll keep them uh, for whenever we need frost resistance. Armor penetration... 18% is nothing to be scoffed at. What do the what do uh, the gloves do in particular? Wards not relevant for us. Spell power not relevant for us. It is effectively 40 magicka for us and focus whilst running. I think we're going to go with the wolf gauntlets. Movement speed 5%. Nearby living creatures uh, can be seen through walls. 
nearby dead and undead can be seen through walls. Well, this is just an, an incredibly convenient effect. I liked our other helmet though as well. This is not a bad uh, setup in terms of cheap, reliable, continuous casting. What does the shield uh, do? I think it was magic resist if I'm not mistaken. Hit points 40, renders you immune, magic resistance 20, uh, 20 on top. Yeah, that would be good. That plus a ward to sprint forward into a spellcaster before we can uh, take out uh, the axe. Or that and... I mean, theoretically, that combination here would work as well. I actually like it a lot. I think we're uh, we're going to keep the shield because that way, whenever we cast that spell, we can't depower it anyways. Uh, we do have a blocking option, and it grants us a lot additional magic resist. Okay, uh, I will need to power attack walk myself uh, out of this uh, dungeon whilst I'm doing the finalization. So this was uh, Diaries of Death number one. We had Hamza, Cursed of the Bella. And I think it uh, worked out overall in retrospect better than I would have expected. I'm not a particular good uh, warrior player. I much rather enjoy mage play. Uh, so for me that uh, in many ways was a challenge. Maybe not the best uh, first run to advertise Skyrim as a game because at some points it was ridiculously close, but we hopefully enjoyed it uh, together. Hamza uh, has survived, so his diary remains open. He is not out of the realm yet. Uh, I will put him on the tier two list of characters, meaning he has beaten a first level entry sort of challenge, got himself uh, to a reasonable level. Got a good uh, little shout there and uh, finished the companion uh, quest. I think we should increase skills so that we do have a proper fi finale here as well. Good. Smithing works uh, well, and now all we need to do is get heavy armor up further. And look at that. Hamza even got a level freshly leveled to level 22. We'll keep that perk for uh, casting in heavy armor. I don't know how I would progress the build, haven't really uh, thought that through, quite frankly I was uh, thinking that I would die much earlier, uh, so we were lucky in uh, some instances. I would love to hear your uh, mm, yeah, hindsight take on it, did you enjoy the 10 episodes of uh, Skyrim, or would you want to see more permadeath runs, and if so, is there any particular build that you are interested in? Thanks for watching guys, as always. Uh, Saikon says goodbye and Hamza, uh, Hamza does so as well. Take care. Bye-bye.